Kel Cat back with another video, man. I'm done with work and shit. But while I was driving earlier, I started to realize something, man. You know, I turned off my music, you know, because normally I got like music in the car. You know, I'm working, you know, I'm delivering the food and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing what I got to do. But this time, man, I turned off the music and I was thinking about something, man. I was really, really feeling bad about a lot of these dudes up out here, man. About a lot of men up out here, man. Because a lot of men out here are going to have to spend the rest of their lives alone, man. With no girlfriend. Not even a wife. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A lot of these dudes are in cell for life. You know what I'm saying? I mean, a lot of these dudes, they're going to be doing escorts, um, hookers, and and prostitutes for the rest of their lives, man. Technology has fucked up dating so bad that if you're around a five as a guy, you're going to have some problems. And if you're not trying to do nothing about your situation, you're looking at a, a life sentence of inceldom and black pill. You know what I'm saying? That's that's on the real, man. I mean, goddamn, dude, like years and years without pussy though. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, wow. 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 That's like a jail time. <laughs> I mean, that's like a, a life sentence in jail, basically, but you're still free, you know what I'm saying? So some that's why I say I see some of these guys they run around shooting up motherfuckers and shit. You know, some of these incel motherfuckers, man, they go around just blasting fools because they can't get no pussy. They can't get a a a, a girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? They can't get none. They can't even get a wife. You know, I would rather be married to a broad than be incel. So at least I can get sex once a month. <laughs> When the when the marriage kicks in, you get like you get like sex once a month, basically, or once every, once every other month. You know what I'm saying? Like I'd rather be married than be in cell. That's how I look at it, man. That's how I look at things. Because in cell is where you can't even get no pussy, you can't get n nothing, not no choosing signals. You know what I'm saying? Women treat you really like crappy everywhere you go. You know what I'm saying? Uh, women sometimes can be hostile toward you. I told you guys about the couple of fights I almost got to over there in Warner Creek where I used to live at this bar that I used to go to. You know what I'm saying? It was two different girls at two different times at the same place. You know what I'm saying? Girl tried to fight me, man, cause she because she didn't like my looks. You know, I had a bunch of fat on my face. I was I was a drinker. You know, I don't drink anymore, but back then I was a fucking boozer. You know what I'm saying? You know, trying to step to some chicks, and almost got beat up basically. You know, because you know I'm drunk and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna be able to fight no broad. Or a bunch of bras at that, you know, drunk and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, um, I realize that a lot of dudes out here are done when it comes to dating. You know, a lot of dudes going to have to settle for a lifetime of not being able to get no girlfriend unless they become rich. You know, that's the only way out for a lot of incels out here, man. And I feel for you. <laughs> I feel for you, dude. It's like you get treated so horribly by chicks, man, that you just just give up. You know, you know, and even if some of these guys went to the gym, it, they still couldn't change their face. You know, some dudes are fucked up, so fucked up genetically that 
even going to the gym, getting jacked won't make a difference. You know, that's why I see some of these guys like he and Succeed, maybe um, facing LMS. I haven't seen that guy. But if he looks like Jay-Z, uh, like he says he does, no gym is going to help his ass at all. Matter of fact, it might make make it worse because, they, you know, he, he might get jacked and have an ugly ass face and scare some of these broads. You know what I'm saying? So some dudes are so fucked up genetically in the face that 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 um, there's no hope at all for them. Even if they got down to like like five percent body fat, you know what I'm saying? There's no hope. You know what I mean? There's no hope for them. You know, um, the only hope is riches. You know, and I hear a lot of like Chad's and Tyrone's online talk down on money because money is their main competitor. Money is what Chad's and Tyrone's are competing with. Chad's and Tyrone's are not competing with anybody else but money. Nobody can compete with Chad's and Tyrone's but money. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing that can compete with Chad and Tyrone. And I see a lot of Tyrone's talk down on money. Oh, money can't get you a girl. Uh, money is not everything. You know, they talk down on money, but, you know, there are a lot of, a lot of incels that talk up on money. Or a lot of guys that are nerds who don't have looks, they talk up on money. They talk, you know, they talk... Um about money like it's like it's uh it's it um they talk up on money like it's it's their savior or some shit like that right so you got the the chas and tyromes uh taking a shit on money and you got some of these guys seeing money as as their savior you know what i'm saying you know, um, that's why, that's why I see, that's the reason why I see the reason why Chaz and Tyrone's, you know, talk shit, talk shit about money because it's, it's their competitor. You know what I'm saying? Millions of dollars versus Chad and Tyrone. Who's going to win? You know what I'm saying? You know, so... Yeah, man. So a lot of dudes are done in the in the in the gate in the dating world, man. So I don't know what to say, but to get rich, because I feel like some dudes, that you know, the the gym is not gonna help them. You know, some dudes. You know, I see a lot of like incel guys who got down to zero percent body fat. You know, was uh. You know, um, you know, was working out and everything, but their face was still hurt. You know what I'm saying? They still had a real fucked up ass face because of their genetics. You know what I mean? Like nobody, I mean, like, like there's a lot of dudes that can't do what I do. Like, drop the body fat percentage and look good. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of guys cannot just just become good looking after they drop the body fat percentage. Like, I, I'm a different story. You know what I'm saying? I look good in my 20s at at a 12% body fat, right? You know, because that's where, where I was in my 20s, 12% 12, 12 body fat, and I looked good, you know what I'm saying? So, but I, over the years, I got older, I put on some weight, you know what I'm saying? And that would made me really unattractive, right? But then once I took off the weight, I went back and got a piece of that, that Tyrone light, you know what I'm saying? So, you know... I was, you know, I was very good looking in my twenties at 
12% body fat. I went through a lot of women. Like I said before, I went through a hundred women, you know what I'm saying? Over a hundred. Like I remember just banging bitches like left and right, left and right. Just having a lot of sex with a lot of females that had ass titties and, and face and everything, you know, five, sixes and sevens was my sweet spot when I was, when I was um, coming up. And them features haven't went anywhere. You know, I got a little older and stuff. But when I dropped the body fat percentage, you know, I popped back. You know what I'm saying? A lot of dudes can't do that. Some dudes never were. They never were as uh, attractive. Never was attractive. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I see a lot of guys don't even try. they like, fuck it. It's going to be video games, hookers, you know, prostitutes, escorts for the rest of your life. Basically, if you're not going to get rich and a lot of dudes are not going to get rich let's face it a lot of dudes are not going to become wealthy you know what i'm saying or they're too lazy or they don't want to sacrifice things to get there they don't want to become rich so those men are done done like no there's not there's not going to be any romance or any like intimacy when it comes to females, even like prostitutes might like push them away and shit. If the incel tried to get intimate <laughs> with a with a prostitute or some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? You know, they just you know the prostitute would be all business and shit. You know what I'm saying? So to kiss a female and and hug and touch a female. You know what I'm saying? For more than just a half hour or some shit like that. That's not going to ever happen to a lot of, for a lot of dudes, man. You know what I'm saying? And I can see how that made a lot of dudes bitter, man. Because think about it, man. You got the opposite sex that do, that they just don't like you. You know, and you're not gay. You know what I'm saying? So you resort to prostitutes and escorts and shit because you're trying to get your fill, fulfillment on. You know what I'm saying? And um, women treat you like shit, treat you like dirt. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, there's, there's going to be a lot of, like, bitter incels out here, man. And when you're not getting fucking laid, man, it makes you want to get a fucking Uzi and start spraying up the place. That's why I see a lot of dudes out here, they fucking, they, 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 they fucking, like, just, just, just hold on one second. You know, a lot of dudes they just take their frustration here out here online, man. You know, online is very therapeutic, man. You know, that's why I try to like go easy on a lot of dudes and understand a lot of dudes because I understand what it is to be a, a undesirable dude. I mean, you if you guys see me. You see my face, my face swells up and you don't even recognize me no more. You know, when I gain weight, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I look totally different, you know, just dropped a fucking, I just dropped some pounds and you see how I, how different I look, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, a lot of dudes are done. Uh, you could thank the technology for this shit. You know what I'm saying? I just feel there's a lot of evil dudes out here, man. And you know what? And this coronavirus is the fucking, is their fucking um, karma. Okay. You know, the coronavirus is karma for a lot of greedy men out here who destroyed a lot of like dudes dating lives and a lot of dudes sex lives. You know, a lot of these dudes who invented Facebook, who invented all these date naps, this is karma coming back. This coronavirus is karma. You know what I'm saying? On a lot of like men who destroyed a lot of dudes' lives when it comes to dating. You know, because I know the pussy, you know, the amount of pussy coming my way slowed down. You know what I'm saying? Like, Nowadays, to be six foot tall is so important nowadays. 
If you're under six feet tall, you better be chiseled, cut, you know what I'm saying, and have a face at least a fucking six, okay? You got to be at least a six to have a healthy relationship or a healthy um, um, sex life or whatever, you know what I'm saying, out here. And I consider myself as a six because I still attract women and I still meet up with females when I want to off online. You know, I was going to hang out with that chick, but I faked on her. <laughs> the chick I was supposed to hang out with on Sunday, you know, I faked on her because I just didn't want to travel that way just to meet her. Um, I got some other options online. You know, it's, it just seems like the lesser the body fat percentage I I have, the more um, the more women I attract. You know what I'm saying? That's how it is for me, man. And I feel like it's nearly impossible to fucking get down to 9%, by the way. 9% body fat? Oh, my God, dude. I, I, I basically have to eat barely no carbs. <laughs> I have to eat barely any carbs, bro. Like, like I can't, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about the fucking nine percent body fat, but I'm trying. I'm trying. But as competitive as today's date market is, I really don't. I really don't know, man. For a lot of dudes, you know, you know, I really don't know. So, like I said before, like the, even the gym won't help help dudes like he didn't succeed i don't think the gym would help that guy because he has he has terrible like features you know what i'm saying he has terrible facial features now if he tried don't get me wrong but i feel like that he would like like waste his time going to the gym and, and getting jacked and i think he knows that too i think he knows that hey if he never was attractive he never will be attractive he probably knew that he was very unattractive when he was slimmer when he was young when he was a kid and he never got a girlfriend no no girls no girls liked him so he felt like that hey man getting jacked and getting ripped is not going to help him at all and i think that's that's a true thing but it doesn't mean that he it doesn't mean that he can't try, you know what I'm saying? He can try, but I just think he would, you know, be wasting his time. I th I really think so, you know what I'm saying? But it wouldn't hurt to try if he if he lost some weight and see what happens. But um, and seldom for a lot of guys. It's going to be forever, man, and it's going to be a lifelong thing for a lot of dudes, you know, um, some dudes are not going to be able to be intimate with a lot of females out here, man, or any females, you know, anyway, man, I'm going to end the video, you guys have a good night, subscribe, like, comment and click the notification bell button so you never ever miss another video from me and i'm out